So I recently got this Wellbon EX630 tripod. I got it for free because it's missing a bunch of parts and some parts may be in the wrong place. As we can see here, there's something missing from the head assembly and the other one that we do have seems to be in the wrong place. So if we'll remove this screw and see if it works in the other one, we'll then know that, okay, at least we have two of the same type of screw. And I did compare this one to a M5 screw and it's a little bit bigger. So I think it's an M6. So I think I'll make a M6 nut and we'll see if that fits. A quick 3D print later, we have a 10 millimeter M6 nut and it seems to fit perfectly. Now I just need to turn the rest of the nut into the end cap. Since the other screw, however, is missing entirely, I'm going to have to go ahead and buy one. But before I can buy one, I need to measure how long it should be and then figure out in the store what is the size that I can actually buy. After a little bit of poking with calipers, it seems that it's 25 millimeters deep. I went to the store and I got two screws. One of them is 25 millimeters and one of them is 40 millimeters because those were the only sizes available. I have a feeling that the 40 millimeter one is too big, but let's see. Yep, definitely too big. Let's go with the 25 millimeter one next. Seems to me that the 25mm one is the correct one. There is pretty much no room for error with this one though. Now I just need to make a knob for it and then attach the knob to the screw. So here we have the end cap that I made. The base is just a 10mm M6 nut. So if we go back in time. We can see that this is essentially the nut that I created in the beginning. The only thing that I changed is that I changed the height. It was originally, I think, four millimeters, and I just changed the height to be the entire height that it needs to be. And then I added the first stop. And then I added the screw threads. And finally, we got the top half that comes out. And then we just added some fillets to make it look nicer. Uh, the original part that you'll be seeing soon is one that this part is a little bit longer. I measure it incorrectly because, you know, measure, measure once, print thrice. Uh, so that's essentially for the end cap. And then we have the tightening knob. This will be connected to the one that we just saw, the 25mm screw. And since we will be heating up the screw and pressing it in, the screw end has a hex receptacle. So we'll be melting this part of plastic into that to get better traction. And this was essentially just made by taking the first piece, which was the the circumference of the hole and then making the how big we would like the nut to be then we did the fillet to the edge then we made one of these cuts and then we just used the pattern tool to copy it around then we added the hole where the screw will go and we added the extra material for the screw to grab. And we did a little bit of a chamfer so that it's easier to push the nut in. Now we just need to heat up the nut and press it into this one. And just screw in the end cap in the other one. As always, the files will be in the video description. Now we have the knob. Let's give it a couple of test spins to see that it's the right size. And it is. Now we'll take the end cap and as per our rule, measure once, print twice. We see that it is the wrong size and we will have to fix that in Fusion 360. 
Now, the good thing for you guys is that I've already fixed this and the one that you'll be able to download is the correct size. Now that we can see that the end cap otherwise fits, we'll go ahead and attach the screw to the knob. Now we just need to put the screw on the heat plate and once the smoke detector goes off, you know that your screw is ready to eat. Now we just remove the screw and press it into the knob and it'll fuse itself to it. Now we simply attach the knob. And now that the knob has been attached, we'll just replace the end cap with the properly designed one. And that's it, we're done. We've fixed this tripod. As I said earlier, all of the files will be in the video description. And I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.